Why can't businesses accept crypto? Because they are volatile. Why is it hard to issue a loan against crypto? Because they are volatile. Bitcoin can go up 20%, 10%, and then fall off, boom, down. There are, crypt there are crypto projects that are losing like 60, 40, 20 percent of your value per day gaining like month gaining like okay let's let's see crypto trending gaining and losers you are saying something that is gaining almost like three two hundred and fifty percent it's crazy you are saying something that is gaining like 76 percent it's crazy it's 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 what <laughs> it's what it's crazy now look at something Let's say, let's look in the, se the last seven days. This platform is losing 57%. Last 24 hours, 19%. In the, in the last one hour, 20%. Who is going to accept crypto? Nobody. Except there is a mechanism that will help to actually solve social problem. And many people are actually proposing fiat uh, currency. I hope I will publish this article um, and put it in the link below so that you can actually uh, read through it. It's more detailed and all that. Now, the approach to stable uh, cryptocurrencies has been there since 2014 with the introduction of uh, BitUSD when they created the uh, BitShares exchange. It did not really go well. But it's, I think it's the first implementation. It was not really successful like Bitcoin and all that. Now, the idea is simply how do we peg what is volatile against that which is stable? So it could be a currency. It could be another cryptocurrency. And then it could be something like gold or whatsoever, right? So there are different approaches like form of collateral like one-to-one -one ratio the first form of uh, S, uh the, the first form of stable coins are the fiat collat uh, the, uh, the fiat collateralized uh, systems so it's basically you pick a crypto let's say coin a or b against fiat let's say bitcoin uh, sorry uh dollars or euros now for that to actually happen there has to be a kind of banking relationship that will be able to provide this backing, uh, uh, sorry, um, backing. Now, a implementation of that, which you already know, it's the USD data. Now, but the USD data, there is a report I've not really published, is the report that they did into the manipulation between uh, Theta and Bitfinex that is actually using to manipulate the Bitcoin price. And according to a report that was actually said that for every single one theta that is out there printed on the market there is like 50 dollar worth of crypto that is added to the market now what i actually means it's a, they're not saying that that is not really really good for the entire crypto space now they also report that platforms like theta do not really have a ceo that that they, that like that same is not made known to the public except there was an incident that actually happened where uh i think they say the paradise uh paper leak something like that where they actually reviewed who is behind this project and it's a very very big uh concern and then uh the company actually said that they will be giving regular updates for the past one year now they have not given updates and it's 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 a concern and the other problems with um that these platforms could also face is what about as the crypto market is expanding can you provide can the banking relationship provide liquidity for stuff so okay let's say uh the crypto market has increased to let's say 40 trillion dollars now if you look at usd if you look at usd now the market cap is like let's say 2.5 billion dollars and can they provide liquidity of up to like 450 billion you know that now the usd business model is not known probably 
Oh, like some pre uh, some pre some person say they ain't they charge you like transaction fee if you want to convert and you know that when you want to buy the title maybe with dollars and uh, maybe the money is in interest in the bank and those other stuff. So Tether has a lot of uh, concern. The next thing is the crypto uh, collateralized uh, kind of form of stable coins. So what that simply means is that you're pegging a crypto against a crypto in a one to one. Um, in a one-to-one -one ratio and all that now there are it it all differs most times it all differs but i'll be giving uh a quick example like the the maker dial the maker dial so the maker dial uses uh it kind of okay let me not go to that so let's say to use x amount of stable coin a so if you want to use stable coin a and you want to use x amount of it to hash y amount of coin b so that your coin now so this is your coin and you want to, your coin is coin b and you want to use stable coin a you have to have x times y amount of stable coins to be able to hedge for the y amount of coins you have now it's very volatile as you as you can see here i wrote it's fascinating as that we should help is seeking help because even though you are creating stable coins, there are there are there is something called threshold, right? There is a threshold. As when I, when I the first time I came into investing in crypto coins, I was like, what kind of coin is Theta? It does not increase. It does not decrease. It was later I began to understand. Oh, Theta was not really actually a coin. Theta is a kind of hedge mechanism because Theta is like one dollar, one cent. Then zero point, let's say nine eight cent, just for between between those kind of ranges and all that. So there has to be a threshold. There, there is a threshold that the stable coin that you are pegging crypto to crypto. There is a threshold it's going to actually take because you cannot. It's putting two crypto against each other. It's a very very big problem. It's a very very big problem. And then the other form of um stable coins are the non collateralized stable coins so these are the kind of uh, coins that uses a kind of um central bank like mechanism or algorithm to control to artificially control or using smart contract to control the circulating supply of a coin so what that simply means you can say okay if the supply if the price is going down you can increase the supply if the price is going up you can decrease the supply for example our basis which is the brand of base coin says bond token when it's when the stable coins goes down below one dollar with the hopes of redeeming it for the basis coin at one dollar in the future at the resurrection and eventual surpassing of the basis coin over one dollar your head bond tokens are redeemed for one uh so uh, one to one basis using a uh, base share it pays users who held the tokens which when they increase its supply the complexity around this concept centers around its theory different coin system including inside one system and it uses uh and its sources is uh being predicated on the belief of getting people to buy the uh, to buy the bond token with a uh, with the belief of getting a higher price out of it i've said a lot of uh, stops let's check the coin wow where is the coin is it not yet in implementation now i didn't really check on uh, before doing this video so what that coin actually may, uh, does is if the price is going up, so sorry, if the price is going down, they will issue a form of token which is called the the the, the basis. Sorry, they will, they will, they will issue, sorry, they will issue a, they will issue a token called the uh, the 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 bond token to users, and then when they hope that okay, one day is going to go up and then give users a kind of share. I know that 
it's not really really promising there are there are many problems with that now as i wrote here with coinbase bitrace binance bint panda and other uh and i know that's offering crypto to fiat trading and also digitized usd the future of stable coins may look blank or promising if you look at why crypto is volatile why crypto is very very volatile is because first there are many things going on like there is little to no regulations there are many reasons to actually put this trading boards market are always volatile sentiment psychology and all that but another reason is because you are pairing crypto to bitcoin so you actually pay one bitcoin to another so if you can provide a, a mechanism where any crypto can be purchased or traded against a standard form like usd like binance is doing providing uh euro offer euro trading bitrace is trying to offer usd um, um usd trading if you can bring such system it's going to help with the volatility now some of the uh some of the stable coins include makada that uses a kind of two uh, uh two model system and then you have heaven so heaven uses a dual token system where one set of tokens which is according which according no means are used for day-to-day -day payments and the corresponding transaction fees goes to the heaven token holders the staking and liquidation of having tokens are responsible for the minting and bonding of having tokens. Let's let's see the token we're talking about. Now, so what that means is this coin, for example, now it's the investment part of it. So those who have who, those who hold this coin will get incentive from the transactions that have been done using the uh the no mean token no means token now the staking and liquidation so if you hold the token you actually you you, you can determine how much tokens will be minted if you are liquidating your token what that actually means is that you're actually taking tokens from the market so it is the it's a kind of democratic way to actually solve the circulating supply uh, problem in this space. Then the next one is uh, DGS. So DGS rather than peg it against a token or fiat, they are pegging it to one gram of gold. Now there are uh, there there are concerns like. Um, what is good being used for the questions like transparency okay do this people actually have the gold and all that the another platform is true usd now true usd is not that popular but though they are trying to use it in um you can, you can see it, it is very very way below theta theta has actually established itself but theta can be uh taking up the the, the space and all that so true yes is another one uh in the system so Two years, the leverages fiat banking and very verifiable uh, escrows that allow anyone transact directly with the bank as a gate stater that holds your money and one at so on under KYC in order to redeem that two years. Many exchanges are also quickly adopting it and also have a publicly verifiable team. Now, many of them are actually popping up and all that. If I'm not mistaken, there is a I hope I get this correctly. Akemi ICU. Okay. Is it this? There is a platform that's released on Neo. It's called Akemist. So they will be releasing a kind of token that I've not really taken time to study. What their platform, but I think they are trying to do stuff relating to mortgaging of digital assets and all that. But they are still kind of form of uh, stable coins trying to provide liquidity for debt. And um, I've not really taken time to study it, but it's kind of uh, stable coin and all that. Now I actually like the 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 business model because first thing, if you are providing 
a kind of stable currency, you are trying to provide a kind of system for people to hedge against, then there has to be a way for you to make money. Yeah, so there has to be a way for you to make money. And I like the 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 the, the, the platform of uh, the, the, I think it has potential, having the business model, the Nomi token, and then it, it's, it's, it's not just like, uh, it's not like the, the make the maker that uh, platform where, okay, we are issuing you a bond token. Okay, you will get this with the price growth. No, it's it's very practical. Like, this is our token. This is the Nomi's, uh, Nomi's coins. You can use it for day-to-day -day transactions and the transaction fee goes. Those are, those are practical stuff. So if a chemist is bringing a kind of system where, okay, we're bringing it. I've not really taken. Let me know explain what I don't, I don't really know. But as soon as I um take the time and start digging into this project, I'll bring you my officials. So guys, that is um stable coins in a nutshell. So let me know which stable coin you are aware of or you are using. Stable coins are very very good. Like even as the market is fluctuating, you can use them to hedge against. Like you can you can simply put your money in tether. Let's say you have. X amount of dollars in crypto, you can simply put it. Just, just like the downside of this platform is that even as you're protecting against the downside of the market, if the market starts increasing and you don't actually uh, liquidate your platform and get back into your crypto, you're gonna miss the ride. So everything that has its own upside has its own downside. Thank you very much and do a very good day.